Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, let's go into the cave and find our Esper, shall we? Shall we? Good thing I stocked up on these light items. Search lights. Ooh, red. Which way? Normally go right. Got a maniac of red slimes. Take care of you guys. I hope. Fire magic. You get tough, do you? Getting full of boss shit, I'll have to say. Lots of experience and money. Maniacs and their slimes. It's funny, their magic, their uh, fire attack is actually weaker than their normal attack. That's good. We don't want them to use our, their most powerful attacks on us. Let's go this way. We go around in circles. These natives don't like us, do they? But again, I can't exactly blame them. We're like invaders come to colonize their planet, so it kind of reminds me of like a cross between the sand people and the Jawas from Star Wars. Sand people. Desert dwellers. Right, we need to heal. This battle. Can't get too cocky. So there, pictures. Let's meow. Let's Tyrone. This is why using the weak items is. Not a bad idea. Chess. What does rat mean? No traps. Oh, okay. Good to know. Do 
do do do do do Bring it on guys This is a Z thing is paralyzed. Uh, meow and Tarver can deal with this. <clears throat> I bet we end up going to the, the freaking start of the dungeon in a minute. We'll find we'll find the entrance in a minute. But it's like okay. <coughs> the thing about these games though is even if you wander around the dungeon and mess up in terms of your directional map reading ability. You're not wasting your time because you are gaining experience points, you are gaining money, so nothing is a waste. I think that's... I like to kind of psychologically dissect the reason why I love playing video games, and I think it's like... Um, Uh-oh. I think it's like... Do you want to go up? I think we've got to keep going down. Um, yeah, like, I, I've done so many jobs in the past that have been so mundane and boring and unsatisfying. You, you go into work and you, you're, you're working, but you're not accomplishing anything. You're not progressing, you're not developing, you're not improving. You're just, you're doing it. You're getting paid some crappy wage, and that's literally it. And you go home and try to find some sort of way of making your life more satisfying and video games kind of have that in them. It's like, apart from developing, apart from progressing a storyline, no matter what you do in a game, whether you play a game for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 hours, 10 hours, you are making some sort of progress. Like, even if you play a game like, uh, I keep on mentioning this game, but even if you keep on playing a game like Dark Souls and you die and you die and you die and you die, you're still getting experience that's leveling up your character that is actually making you stronger, that is therefore making the game slightly easier. And in playing the game, you are also discovering new enemies, new areas, new items, new tactics. So, even if you constantly keep failing, you are still making progress. We're doing this game now, and I'm wandering around in circles, and I'm not necessarily getting close to the end of the dungeon, but by fighting enemies, we are leveling up and gaining money. So we are still progressing. So even if you play this game for half an hour or an hour and you just wander around a dungeon and you don't actually even complete the dungeon, you have still made progress in that hour. Which is kind of what I want in the job, but have so far yet to find it a job. Every job I've done has been That is fine, shall we say? So maybe that's why I am so into my games, because they actually give me that development, that satisfaction, that um, 
sense of progress that I don't get in my real um, work in life. So we're getting a bit deep now. <laughs> my psychological issues. This is true. It's like I, I do. A, I go into and do a job, my day job, and it's just like I'm not. If I didn't go into work, it wouldn't make any fucking difference because I'm just. It's just nothing. But yeah, if I play a video game, I'm making a difference. I'm progressing. I'm developing. You play an MMO and you're leveling up and gaining eye levels and interacting with people. And you're, you're doing something. It's not real. I know it's not real. But you still feel like you've done something. And I think that's maybe why a lot of people play games. And I even hate the term games. Playing a video game. I mean, it is a game, but it's... Certain games are more than just... I think the term game kind of um, simplifies things. Interactive entertainment would be a better use of the word, maybe. But like, if you say, I'm going to go and play a video game, it kind of comes across as being slightly childish and... I'm going to go and play. Can I play a video game, please? It's like, no, I want to go and experience a video game. But even that sounds a bit melodramatic, and it's just, I don't know, um... I'm starting to waffle as we tread these red stone caverns. get to this stage now and chests, but not the actual Esper we're looking for. battles it really makes it hard like I'm trying to get an idea of where the or the map is actually and where I'm actually going in the map but when you constantly have to fight a battle every few seconds it's freaking hard unless you sat there I'm sure there are online maps of all these locations in which case <clears throat> it'll be easy peasy but 
got to, well, okay, I'm going to say we've got to play this game like old school where there is no internet and I've already had to look up something, so that's failed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where to go. All these caves are the same. I did wonder about playing this game at least solo without my brother being here because um, I don't know when you watch these kind of games with one person chatting and not much comedy going on how can I make this sound funny? I don't know so it's like you're just gonna watch me stumble around this uh, This dungeon, it's not particularly excited. Maybe you are. Right, is this just like, oh, there's a door. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Who's this? Who are you? I'm busy. Your mysteries loots is a Lanny? What are we looking for you? Who are you? So you're miserous? Lutz is the Lane. Yes, call me Lutz. I'm Alyssa from Kamalit. I have a letter from the governor for you. The governor? And you? Tyrone, this is Maya Meow. All these names. FYI. FYI, I'm not a cat. I'm a smart musk. Not now, meow. Mm. Alyssa. <laughs> okay, I'll humor you. Huh? I cannot refuse the governor. We are all in this together. Jeez, let's. Yes, meow. We shall save Algo. Thank you, Mr. Lutz. Just Lutz is fine. I must ask. Yeah, yeah, we want to kill the Sheik. Meow? Actually, it's about Dr. Uveno. The scientist from Gothic? Yes, we did a space outside of the Sheik's influence. Dr. Uveno can make one for us. But the spaceport? The Sheik will close it if he learns of us. We'll be stranded. We have to get a ship then. Where is Gothic? We can get there for the manhole at the Palman spaceport. Let's hurry. The plot thickens. Okay, this is where I need more than one person to help me do the voice acting. Um, we should probably use an item to just escape from this place. Use electricity. Oh, nice. Loots. Lots or loots? I'm gonna say loots. You demand. Right, let's see if we can use an item to escape from this place. Escape from dungeons. 
We're gonna be here for a while, guys. <coughs> now we have a full team then. Wow, loot is amazing. Look at that arrogant cocky. Yeah, I know I'm the best. the guy managed to get you know, like that's more realistic like that guy loots has managed to get through the entire dungeon on his own yeah that's realistic i can get that the bakery guy though Basically, the bakery guy has to be some expert swordsman. But it's unknown to us. Oh, these encounter rates! I haven't got an infinite pool of magic, guys. There's no point in him when I was attacking him, let's just leave it to loots. He's like... Uh, I'll deal with this, guys. You guys just sit back, I'll... I'll take care of this. You didn't kill him! You didn't kill him! Actually, we should heal a couple of characters. See, I can do magic too! That's it. <clears throat> I'm cutting this episode now. We are finishing this episode. I am going to get past this stage on my own. And I will join you in the next one when I actually get out of this freaking dungeon after maybe what could be a few more hours at this rate. I mean, like, Jesus. Um, but if you've managed to get this far, thank you. You truly are a hero. Um, if you haven't managed to get this far, then surely you, you're either a subscriber or you must subscribe by now. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you the next time. If I don't see you next time, it's because I'm still in this dungeon and um, pray for me. Or, or come and find me in this dungeon. Um, so, thank you and goodbye.